Hey YouTube, welcome in everybody. Thanks for coming and checking out this video. Today we're gonna be doing this. Do a barrel roll! Hey, that's the famous barrel, do a barrel roll. Um, I use it in my Twitch channel all the time. It's really fun, people spam it as a channel point. Today I'm gonna be explaining it as best as I humanly possibly can to make it easy for everybody to learn how to do this in their own streams. Let's get into it, all right. So the very first thing you guys are going to want is StreamerBot, okay? I can't tell you how amazing this program is, okay? So I'm going to link everything down in the description of everything you're going to ever need, okay, for this to work, okay? So you're going to want to get StreamerBot. You're going to click here, get StreamerBot, download it to anywhere, download the EXE uh, file and unzip it, whatever. The next thing you're going to want here is the StreamFX plugin, okay, for OBS. Go to download, just download that as well. And the very last one is you're gonna want the move transition. I'll leave links down for in the description for all this stuff. Download the exe file if you're on Windows, download the zip file if you're on MacBook. Whatever scene you want barrel roll to be on, you're gonna right click it, okay? So we're gonna right click this one. I just have one called YouTube. Right now I already have it set it up, but we're gonna click on here, plus, and then uh, click on you're gonna to want to add a move source okay so mine is just different right here it's just named differently so the move source for left you're gonna to want to name this one left so you remember and one for right you're gonna copy this exact stuff that I have here so you're gonna to want to set the source to wherever your camera is or whatever your group is I just have my camera in a group under here in this section and I also have an extra one why not set the camera up okay and then the next thing you're gonna want to do is go into custom durations add 3000 okay next thing is easing you're gonna want to put this to ease out and easing function to quadratic next thing you're gonna do is click on get transform okay you're gonna click get transform you're gonna put this on minus 360 okay and then the last thing for this tab is you're gonna want to have the start triggered for this click to enable and that's it then you're gonna click on roll right, okay? Copy the exact same things again. This time though, under get transform is you're gonna to wanna to leave this on rotation for zero, okay? For the other tab, we had minus 63. This one we have just zero, okay? And then for the start trigger, just leave this on none. That's it, okay? So if you followed along, you set up the scene, and then you set the filters on the scene, for ours is YouTube, and then you you uh, put the source in under your camera. Okay. So the next okay. thing we're gonna be doing, <laughs> the next thing we're gonna be doing is going into StreamerBot. Yay! Okay. So if you have that um, text file, I have it. The barrel roll is a text file, so it's easy for you guys. I'm just gonna leave it down in the description. If not, I'll put in the whole thing in the damn description if I have to. You can go into the actions tab on StreamerBot. Just right click anywhere. Click on import, okay? This is the easiest way, okay? You're gonna wanna grab this, okay? And drag it into the import string. Bam, there you go. There's barrel roll left, right, in the other action as well. So this is what it looks like, okay? Bam, like that, roll right, and then the other sequences. And this is actually going to be, this is what threw me off personally, is this is actually going to be set up for a nested scene and not just a scene, okay? I'll explain that, what that means in a second here. So you're gonna wanna import this, okay? You're gonna wanna import this, click on import. I already have one, okay? So I'm not gonna double inception myself. So first thing you wanna do is click on roll left and whoa, don't get confused here. This is just because I have it on other scenes as well as a nested camera, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do here as I'll show you as simply as possible what it is. So you're gonna wanna click in this area, add an action, go down to OBS, and then you're gonna wanna set the source to set scene filter state, okay? Bam, set scene filter state. You're gonna wanna click on where the scene is, ours is YouTube, and then for since we're in the left column, you're gonna wanna make it roll to the left. 
you're going to set it to visible and just click OK. All right. So I have mine right here. There's the YouTube one. Bam, YouTube, roll left, visible. OK, same thing now for the right action. OK, right action, add action, OBS, and then go down to set scene filter state. Same thing. OK, except this time you're going to make the filter roll to the right. OK, click on roll to the right and that's it. OK, I have it right here. I'll click on it again. Bam. And then um, if you have a nested camera, for those of you who had nested cameras, you're actually going to do this. So under here in YouTube is I have a nested camera. All you do for that, how you get one of those is you create a new scene. Mine's called the freaking camera. And in that scene, I have a regular camera. OK, and so when you okay. go back to the scene, when you go back to the scene, uh, ours is YouTube. You just click on here and you're going to add a new scene and you're just going to click on the camera. OK, simple as that to make one. OK, so there's the camera okay. right there. You're going to set those same filters on here instead, though, for a nested camera. OK. So mine's roll left, roll right, and copy. Remember those same things. Roll, copy them all down. Okay. And then the next thing you're gonna do is go back into StreamerBot. You can click on roll left or roll right. We're on roll right. So you're gonna add the action in here. Go down to OBS, and then you're gonna instead you're gonna set source filter state. Okay. You're gonna click on that. Bam. Scene source. We're gonna click on that nested camera, which is the freaking camera. And then you're gonna set the filter to roll left visible state i mean uh roll right actually we're gonna set this to roll right my bad because we're under we're under the action roll right see how this confusing this can get sometimes and then you're gonna do the same thing for barrel roll left all right add action obs go down to set source filter state again and then do the same thing but just make sure you're on that nested camera okay roll left to visible okay so that's it Okay, now I'm gonna explain what these are. Okay, or what the what the hell these are. Okay, so this is called a set global. Um, this is called a set global variable. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You're gonna want to copy this exactly as you see here. So the variable name is gonna be called. You're gonna type in last roll, and then you're gonna set the value to left. Okay, guys. So how you do that? If you don't, you're already gonna have this. But how you do that is you can just add the action. And you go down to logic and you go to global set okay and then you can type it in here and the same the same stuff okay bam that's what it looks like and then you're gonna have the sound file I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna put the sound file um, you could literally play anything you want actually you, you just download grab the sample file of the mp3 it's pretty easy okay you're just gonna want to set this to last though on the sound okay set global here all your scenes, everything that you're going to want it on here. Now, the other thing here is I'm going to click on this barrel tab here. Bam. I'm going to show you guys what all this is. OK, just double click on get global. You're going to have the source to global persisted and the variable name. You're going to want to type in last roll destination variable. You're going to want to type in last roll ARG. That's it. OK, get global variable. How you do that? Right click. Add action, go to logic, go to get global. Okay. And then just type all that in. Okay. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to right click, add action, go back down to logic, click on if. Okay. And then you're going to see it like this, but you're going to want to copy these. You're going to copy this logic if last roll ARG. You're going to put the operator to equals the value. You're going to want to set it to left and you're going to put the, the action to right. OK, you're going to want to click on right. Make sure this is checked right here. Run action immediately. And then you're going to want to set the then to break. OK, then just click. Just hit OK. And the last one here is just a regular old action move. OK, just add action. Literally go to actions and then add action. OK. And then you're going to want to set this action to uh, roll left. You're going to want to set to roll left and just click select. OK, we already have it here. This is what it looks like right there. Roll left. This should already be here for you guys. OK, but if not, that's how you do it. OK, so 
of the very last things you're going to need to do because this is was a pain in the ass i couldn't get to work until i did this so you're going to want to right click on these actions and make sure it's enabled and it's also on always run okay this worked for me enabled always run enabled always run enabled always run okay you guys should pretty much be good to go we can make this a channel point we can make this a command we can do whatever with this okay so we can just make this a channel point okay so right here already have it you guys right here here it is barrel roll do barrel you can name this whatever you want you can name it like onomatopoeia for all i care you know doesn't matter just name it whatever you want you can set a prompt the cost as well cool down if you want and then here is the most important thing in this reward redemption is you're going to want to click on the action and make sure you just click on barrel roll. that's it that's all you need to do click select press ok for a command or anything don't click on left or right you're just going to want to set it to barrel roll and then you can just click save settings save settings and we should be squared away and good to go so if we go into twitch go in our creator dashboard go to our channel points bam there's do a barrel roll let's click on it and see if it works do a barrel roll hallelujah if you guys followed along that's it there it is and it rolls left and Do it rolls a to the roll. right any way which way you want to go so that should be it guys thank you for checking out the video now you can spam barrel roll on all day long if Do you a want. barrel roll like that you know just have some really good old fun with it Do a barrel roll bam there it is do a barrel roll on any scene or nested camera that you guys can think of Make sure you share this with other people if they want to learn how to do a barrel roll on their own streams as well. There's not too much information on this, so I decided to make this YouTube video to help out everybody. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. Give a like and check me out on twitch.tv slash michaelmoneytv. I'll be streaming there all the time and doing all kinds of barrel rolls, guys, okay? I'm going to head out. I'll see you guys later. Bye, YouTube.